Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 518 for Thursday, November 30th, 2023. This week we have banter, news, updates, potato wars, Twisby, Inkvent, new decimals, new sailors, a contest winner, a new contest, plus pens and ink from Sailor that are coming soon. Cool. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Brian. You know my friend Joyce? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She uh, she learned how to clone herself. Really? Yeah, she's now rejoiced. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get serious. Uh, tomorrow, December first. Holy cow! It's December. Is Antarctica Day? Do we need Do we need to celebrate that? I think. Well. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Antarctica <laughs> was discovered by humans in 1820, um, but there was international tension over claiming it until the Antarctic Treaty was signed on December 1st, 1959. Okay. All right. So what was there first? Just polar bears? <laughs> polar bear territory. Uh, tomorrow, December 1st, is also National Pie Day. Awesome. Uh, the lesser of the two pie days, the other being on March 14th. This one falls right in the middle of pie making season, and I believe we are completely out, out of, of pie. pie. Monday, December 4th is Santa's List Day. Santa's List Day celebrates the day that Santa puts together his list of naughty and nice. Ooh. It's also a day to start working on your holiday wish lists. See, now, I'm going to argue with that. You're going to argue with that? I think you should start your holiday wish lists way earlier. Oh, yeah. Way yeah, earlier. Pe some people have their shopping done by now. You know, I'm I mostly was, done. When I was younger, I used to try to have all my Christmas shopping done by my birthday, which is at the end of July. That's, you're weird. That's well, just this way. You don't have to worry about it. There's no but stress. How do you know? No I mean, what do you know if there's like something all of a sudden comes up in October, November that somebody is like really into and they want? Somebody else can get it. <laughs> Potato Wars summer. All right, very we good. We had a blast. Um, I think this was the first year that we actually sat down for Thanksgiving dinner at the time that we'd hoped to, we'd scheduled it yeah, for 2.30. Yeah, it was early. And I always say, well, we're going to aim for 2.30, which means by the time everybody, everything's done, it'll be about 3. We actually were ready early and sat down and we were, we were... Mm. At the table at 2.30. Yeah. Uh, everyone showed up on time. Everyone did bring uh, the required potato dish. And so Brian made riced potatoes, mm -hmm. um, which is a, a cherished family memory that it turns out wasn't quite the yeah, same <laughs> in reality as it was he envisioned as a child, you know, which was funny. It's one of those things where you, you grow up and you're like, oh, well, we used to do this all the time and everybody must have loved it. Well, apparently not everybody loved it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my, my memory is a little skewed of, 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 the, uh, of the, the making of the, the rice glory potatoes. Of, so, yeah, dad making um, the potatoes. Yeah, well, wasn't, a, wasn't a fan, apparently. Um, and so Brian made rice potatoes. Uh, our son brought mashed potatoes. And, Tasty. Um, they were he, good. He did a good job. Yeah, they were just from well, the I packet. Know. But he added water. That's fine. <laughs> it was fine. That's all you had <laughs> to do. All, that was the rules. Um, Eric brought potato salad. Um, Lindsay and her boyfriend brought, um, I think, what you considered to be the winner. I think so. It was the most, I would give it points for most create, creative. They're Mexican potatoes, I think That's they called them. That's what you called it? Yep. Um, they were um, seasoned, cut in half, baby goldens, and they were either roasted or baked. And then he made this cilantro lime jalapeno, like, dipping sauce. Yeah, I skipped that, but um, you know, that was kind of weird. It wasn't as spicy as I thought it was going to yeah, be. They, cool. He kept warning me, it's hot. I, I didn't think it was. Okay. Um, they and they so, were good, though. Yes, they were. They were very tasty. And then at the end, uh, so Michael wins for uh, most creative. I think most creative. Sub substantive potato. And then we're mostly through dinner, and we are, um, I think, discussing pie and what to do for Dessert, people are calling in to see how the potato wars went. <laughs> and then Eric brings out this little lunchbox and takes out this little package of um, little alcohol minis that are pink lemonade vodka, which is also potato-based. And so we um, 
It was very strong and very tart. Uh, everyone had one. And then um, I think Lindsay and I didn't finish much of ours, and so we passed them along. Everybody had a little taste. Yeah, everybody had a little taste. And then we did have a couple left over, and so we brought one in for Dave, and we had one with Dave the other day. So, uh, so that was highly creative as well. Uh, and then because of that, we did have to come up with rules for next year. So if you bring a liquid, you have to bring a solid. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, otherwise, it's going to be Bloody Mary, you know, something with screwdrivers. is going to be. I'm okay with that. I'm I not know. going anywhere. I'm not driving. But then the only thing we're going to have is rice potatoes. Maybe. <laughs> well, I might do something different next year. Okay. So anyway, they went well, and thank you for everybody who sent in uh, recipes. We absolutely are going to try them this winter because um, they're great for snowy days. Okay. There you go. Uh, in other news. Yes. Twisby Eco Cream with rose gold trim. Yes. Uh, Pre-sale starts this coming Monday, December 4th. Uh, we can start shipping them on Wednesday, December 6th. So... Um, you can sign up for a, a notice when they go on sale, and uh, on Monday, December fourth, you can you can order them, and then we'll we'll ship them out. Uh, if you're local, uh, just come in on December fourth if you want, pay for it, and you can come back on the sixth and pick it up. And but pick yeah, it I can't up. I can't give it to you just till December sixth. All right, what else? Ink vent. Uh, we still have a few left. Get them before they're gone. And the first door opens tomorrow. Awesome. So grab that while you can. All right. Uh, in other news, uh, Cho'u Kuro samples. This is obviously not a sample, no. uh, but this is a... <laughs> That's a big-ass sample. This, this, yeah, it would be one sample, yeah. Um, are, are fairly limited, uh, so you can get those now. These are available now in samples. So if you've tried uh, the carbon black or any other uh, dark black sample, now you can try the Cho'u Kuro uh, and, uh, in a sample. We, in a sample, yep. Great. So. Yeah, the bottle is a little pricey if you're not sure if um, the pigmented well, super, super dark. I don't think it's any it's, more it's pricey than so, some of no. some other bottles. But I if mean, you're not sure if it's dark, 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 darker, um, get a sample to just It's a, it's a very highly specialized yes. ink. Absolutely. And it's not for everybody, but for the person who wants a dark, dark, black, water-resistant, yes. pigmented Dark, dark, dark this is black. This is it. Yes. So. What do cows read the most? Catalogs. Pilot Vanishing Point decimos in two new colors, white and dark gray. Yeah, I know. They're not super exciting. <laughs> I was thinking like lime green or orange these, or something. I think these are colors that they've actually had before. Yes. Uh, and that now they're just kind of giving to the United States. Um, but because, they're classic standard colors. Well, they are, yeah, because w w you actually have I a have white a decimal. White. We had it before even this announcement was yes. made. And uh, I think we both have a dark gray decimal back when they used to make ballpoints. Yes. And, and I, I think it's a lovely color. The dark gray is very nice. Um, but Both with rhodium trim? Rhodium trim, that's mm -hmm. correct, yep. Uh, and, of course, uh, 18 karat gold nib. Um, yeah, so it's, two it's new the, colors. And it's in the decimal only. It's not yes. in the, the, the regular full size. And the white is kind of a pearlescent white. Yeah, it's got pretty. a little, little, little sparkle to yes, it. Yes, very pretty. Uh, also just in... Uh, the Sailor Tea Time lineup. And so the collection includes two different colors of pens and an ink. Um, Moroccan Mint Tea ink is very much like the color of tea. And so I have a swab for you. It's kind of cool. It's kind of yeah. gold. Uh, it absolutely is a, a golden yellow color. It reminds me um, of a couple other colors that are really nice. That, um, that you can't remember right now? Well, I was going to say, like... Um, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. You are. Uh, Inaho. Shinkachi. What? Kobe. No, uh, maybe. But, um, you know, while you might think this is a kind of an odd color, some colors like this did really well. The Edelstein Amber did yeah, yeah. really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah no, it's a great, um, Inaho, that's a nice it's color. a great color. So, yeah. uh, limited edition, grab it while you can. I think what we got is probably all we're going to have. Yes. So, so we, we got a, we got a fair, fair, fair amount of them. Mm -hmm. um, we probably, I'm just going to reach across here. 
What do we awesome. got? Oh, there's a little, little little teapot there, and there's a little cute couple of glasses of is that cold tea, iced tea? Yeah, it looks like a little it. iced tea on the on the on the box. Um, so and yeah, what we got is probably what we're gonna get. Yep, and then we have um, the uh, slim the Pro Gear Slim. This is the uh, mint and sugar. It's kind of nice. I like the the barrel color is nice. So that same amber color, and then there's a green Ooh, clear green. section. That is nice. That's nice. Pretty kind of an olive green, with then. That would go fantastic with the ink. Yes. That's really absolutely. I think that one matches the best. Yes. So we got that, and then uh, we have the full size, which you know, of course is uh, the one I can't pronounce. Kisan. Sure. Um, it's kind of a what would you call that? Like a beige. Like a milky. Milky beige, maybe. Kind of. With the red cap. Clear finial on the end. Pretty. Um, I love so that's the red in full cap. Full size. Uh, and I believe these are available in medium and medium fine, maybe. I yeah. Have to check. Not but too many options. There's. Uh, it's. It's going to be a limited. I mean, it's. It. They're not going to be around very long. So, but uh, lovely. Oh. Uh, I like just. This, this just like nice. last time, they had um, the tea time. They were. They oh, were short lived. Um, kind of in and out. So grab it while you. While you're thinking about it. I like that one. Do you? I don't usually like slims, but that's a lovely color. It's almost too small for your hand, though. You might well, have to you know. Go from a king of pen to that? Yeah, well, if you mention it that way, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work. So. <laughs> well, just forget about the king of pen and just focus on that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, moving right along. Yes. Um, Faber-Castell reminder, 25% uh, off sale now through December 8th. This is the time to buy anything from Faber-Castell that you've been looking at because who doesn't like a discount? We've got a good selection of ambitions left. Um, we, we actually, over the Black Friday weekend, we sold quite a bit. So, um, But uh, good s selection of ambitions, some looms, um, and m more importantly, bottled ink. So, yes. And, and the ink is outstanding. Uh, the hazelnut brown. Moss green. Perfect. The really bottle is amazing. It's got a nice uh, kind of an elongated, sturdy, sturdy base and a beautiful cap. Uh, but the pens are the loom, the ambition, the emotion, uh, the hexo, and the essentio, and then all the bottled ink. 25% yep. off is a really good deal on Faber-Castell because they only go on sale. Once a year. Twice a year. Twice a year. Mom... Well, Mom's, dad's, grad's time <laughs> usually, and then this Not time. Not very of year. often. No. So. What do you call a well balanced horse? Stable. We had a contest last APTV. We did. Share one thing for which you are grateful. Do you have one thing you're grateful for? I was grateful to be home. I am grateful to be home, but that was my. <laughs> Go around the table at Thanksgiving and say what you're grateful for, and I was grateful to be there and not have to leave the next morning at 5 in the morning. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. Uh, ben Kemper says, Happy Thanksgiving to you and all the Anderson Pence family. I'm grateful for my dear wife, Betsy, my amazing team at work, and fittingly for the Fountain Pen community where the polarizations are merely about things like feedback or no feedback yep. and Hobonichi versus Travelers. It's a lovely bunch of people, and you, Andersons, are a great part of it. Keep well. Thanks much, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Clark Freilich says, I am grateful for this wonderful community of, fount of pen enthusiasts, such an amazingly friendly group. Absolutely. Tara Weber says, Happy Thanksgiving. I am thankful for the health of all my loved ones. Cancer sucks. Yes. Amen to that. Edward Stotts says, I'm grateful for our family coming together to celebrate this glorious time of year. Here it means the coming of summer. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. We got snow. It's 15 degrees it's 15 today. 15 degrees this morning. <laughs> Uh, Patty, Patty says, I'm thankful for my recent journaling habit and for fountain pens for making it a full experience. Also thankful for moving down, back down south this spring to be closer to family. Very cool. Paul Herman says, happy Doctor Who Day. He always comes up with fun things. Hmm. Uh, something for those who don't celebrate the U.S. Thanksgiving. Ended up in a party full of World Health Organization medics. Apparently, I've gone to the wrong Doctor oh, Who convention. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. A couple things I'm really thankful for that I'm alive this Thanksgiving. 
My heart it's stopped solid. on the tenth after a stent put in the week before got plugged for undetermined causes. Oh my goodness! Second for my nephew being close enough and that he knows CPR. Yes, oh absolutely, my goodness. Paul. I'm glad you are. <laughs> wow. Safe. Uh, Siriani de yeah, Siriani de Silva says Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it's a tradition to be grateful and give thanks. I don't do it enough. I am also thankful for the big things, family and friends and pets. Let yes. us not forget the pets. And also for the littlest, like a pun, which makes one turtle or chuckle or groan. So I'm grateful and give thanks for the weekly <laughs> AP TV. Yes. Thank you. And the winner, oh. Alan Parise, um, comment. I am grateful for my wife, Leah, who I will be sharing Thanksgiving dinner with today at her rehab hospital. I will send a good chunk, spend a good chunk of tomorrow, the 24th, there with her as we celebrate our 51st anniversary. Wow. I look forward to Leah returning home a week from today, at which time I expect it will be difficult for me to keep up with her. Thanks for the weekly podcast, one of the few bright spots in my life this fall. I haven't missed one in years, though I rarely comment. All the best to you both, your staff, and families for this holiday season. Thank Congratulations, you, Alan. Alan. Uh, write to eric at andersonpens.com for your $20 um, credit to your account. We have a new contest? We do. What tools will you use for planning in 2024? I'm thinking a hammer. No, a we're talking Hobonichi. Are we talking Google Calendar, Outlook? Um, I know, you know a lot of people are both analog and digital. And so what is it you plan to do? Um, if you're going to use a hobo, be honest. How many are you going to use? I like flying by the seat of my pants. Yeah? Yeah. So you're not going to do a hobo? Well, I've got one. Okay. But it's the day free. So, <laughs> <laughs> so actually, commitment so, phobic. so it's thinner. So when I don't use it. You won't feel guilty. I won't feel guilty. But I'll use it for actually for my daily lists. Okay. My daily to-dos is what All I'm right. going to use it. That's That I'm looking forward to. I have a that. cousin. Do you? Yeah. You got a couple cousins from what I hear. <laughs> I know, and we love a couple of my cousins. <laughs> um, I have the cousin size Hobonichi, and hey, you can use them this week. You can start this week. That's pretty exciting. What can you start this week? The monthly calendar monthly? starts on Monday, the week of the first of December. Oh, okay. So you you could start it okay. yesterday, uh, Monday. All right. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, one commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 store credit to your Anderson Pens account. First off, Visconti, New Visconti Mirage Mythos. In the uh, Athena. This is the Athena, really correct. Really pretty. It's a nice It's a nice looking pen. It's turquoise. I'm excited. Um, you know, and of course, it's got that marbling is not the correct term, but it's... Swirling is not the right term. It's just a variegated. It's a very, very variegated. Maybe <laughs> uh, it's a lovely addition to the collection. Yes, um, I really do like the Mythos. They have that kind of a brushed metal section, uh, which is very nice. Uh, and the Mythos have been very popular. Yes, um, and the barrel has some. I wouldn't call it facets necess necessarily. It's got some like grooves that go through the barrel. So it's it's actually really, really comfortable to hold. But I do like the brushed metal yeah, finishes. Yeah, and, and it does does have that larger nib, which yes. really is... Really you know, makes I mean, a big difference. They, they, they've had the, the Rembrandts and the Van Goghs for a long time with that kind of smaller nib, but on this pen, it, it, the big nib yeah. is just very nice. Absolutely. Uh, also, a couple things from Sailor. Coming soon are... The Compass Dipton Sheening Inks. So there are three new shades uh, coming out. Uh, dark Cave, uh, Ripe Fig, and Blue Flame. So that one sounds interesting. I'm kind of excited about the Ripe Fig. You're about now excited I'm hungry. about Ripe Fig? All right. I like fruit. Okay. <laughs> so again, these are going to be dip pen only uh, with shimmer, and so we're excited to see these. And then also we have, take it away, Brian. Um, so new Hokoro dip pens from Sailor. Now, these are going to come in five different nib sizes. So you can get these in a fine, a medium, a one millimeter, and a two millimeter, and then also a fude, which is what came in the Dipton uh, limited edition sets. Um, you can get them in barrel colors of white or gray. Uh, but here's the cool thing. Uh, you actually can buy these in parts. So you can buy the nib unit separately. So if you have a if you have one pen and you want to buy an extra nib, you can buy an extra nib. Uh, you can buy the barrel separately. 
uh, which, so you can get the white and the gray. And then they also have a, a clear barrel that's only available separately. Uh, and you can also buy, uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't, I'm not sure I, I understand yet, the feed. So if you need a feed, uh, the feed will be available. Literally, you can make the whole pen. So cool. uh, those would be kind of neat uh, if you're looking for something to use even for uh, sampling ink, uh, the food day, uh, you know, you, you can't get a food day these days, uh, the real food day. So uh, the dip pen food day is going to be a, a, a good alternative. Yeah. But a two millimeter, that might be cool. These are cool. I'm so. excited. So keep in mind the two millimeter is going to be... Twice as big as the one millimeter. Aren't you just funny today? Um, I'm, the only thing that I think is close out there these days is the Lamy 1.9 well, millimeter yeah, so nib. Just, bigger than just a hair nine, bigger yeah. than that. And that's that's a lot of ink that's going to lay down. Course, so if you are swabbing your inks or, or testing colors, um, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, And of course, you, you've got parallels that go well beyond oh, that. Oh, yes. But, yes. Um, but yeah, 2.0, 1.0, 2.0. So super cool. Uh, so those are coming soon. Anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Like this video and subscribe to our channel.